For those of you following along, in the last lesson, we duplicated some text, changed the color, linked the two layers, these layers that are linked here, and moved them around with the Move tool just to show that we could do that with these linked layers here. We're going to go one step further this time, actually a couple steps further. And this time we're going to sort of turn what we know using the knowledge that we have into sort of a senior picture kind of a deal here. So let me just hide that here. This is what we were left off with. We're going to go ahead and trash those. I'm going to throw away that layer. I'm going to drag this layer to the trash as well. I'm going to grab the type tool. I'm going to change this color to white. Click drag to the left corner to get white. Now I have white type. Impact is going to be my font at 25 points. I'm going to click in the roughly the same area. Type in a name. I'll click the move tool to position this sort of in the bottom right section. And I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging the text layer that I just created to the new layer icon. Now I have a Jane Smith copy. And I'll zoom in by clicking the zoom tool so you can see this better. I'm going to click the type tool again. And now on this Jane Smith copy, which is the currently active layer, I'm going to click in front of the J. Highlight the whole line of text. Click the color icon up here again so I can change the color. I'm going to change this color to black. Click OK. And check to commit the type. Now, my new Gene Smith copy is black. And the original underneath is white. So now what I want to do is another thing you can do with layers. I want this Gene Smith that's in black to be under Jane Smith that's in white. So I'm going to grab this layer and I'm going to drag it underneath the white one. I'll do that one more time. I'll, I'll drag it above. So I simply drag it until it's, you, you can see sort of these black lines that are highlighted telling you that it's going to go underneath. Then I'm going to select the move tool. And I'm going to click back to this Jane Smith that's in white. And now instead of moving, clicking, and dragging this text, I'm going to do what's known as nudging. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard, I'm just going to kind of move it a little bit. And you can only do this when you have the Move tool selected. It's basically the same as using the Move tool with the mouse but you can give it a little nudge with the keyboard if you need to. So now we're going to go one step further and I want to add another graphic element to this line of text right here. So I'm going to click the new layer icon and I have this new blank layer. Now we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool. It's to the left of the move tool. I'm going to click on it. If yours is currently not at the rectangular marquee tool, if you click and hold, you get the different options here. So we want the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to click the zoom tool one more time just to zoom in again real quick. I don't have to select the marquee tool again. Okay, now right here, I'm on this new blank layer, layer 2. I'm going to click and drag out a rectangle like so. Now this is all this is is a blank selection on a blank layer. There's really nothing here. We're gonna fill this with a color. So we're gonna go up to edit and down to fill. Under contents we want to use the foreground color which is currently set to white and we're gonna click OK. I'm going to press Ctrl and D to deselect, get rid of my selection. Click the Zoom tool, hold Alt, 
and click to zoom out. And now you can see we have this rectangular graphical element that's in now in layer two. So I'm going to double click right here where it says layer two. And I'm going to call this the white box. Hit enter. Now that it's labeled, I know that this is my white box layer. I, I could even do that with Jane Smith here. I'll call it Jane Smith white text. That way things are more organized. And I'm going to go one step further. I was in the last video. I'm going to select the white box layer and hold control and select the black and white text layers. And I'm going to click the link to link them all. So now when I move them, they'll all move as one. And if I just move one layer, since it's linked with the others, it'll move the others as well. Now I'm going to go one step further with this white box layer selected. I'm going to click the type tool. I'm going to change the font from impact to a hand written here, Bradley hand. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to click the color here. Brings up the color picker. On the right, in this bar here, I'm going to drag this slider up until it's in the blue range. I'm just going to select a blue. You can see right here where it says new, this is the color that I, the new color that I have selected. My current color is white right here. Click OK. I'm going to position my text right over this box here. I'm going to click, enter in some text. Click the checkbox, go back to my move tool and position this sort of inside this white rectangular graphic that we made. Now I'm going to press control and select the rest of these. And currently I have three of these linked together, but now with this 2008 selected as well, I'm going to click the link and add that. So now I can move all of these together. So now what we want to do is save our progress, but this time we're going to use the save as command because we're going to change the name. We originally had a hello world, which just had the text hello world, but now that we've added different text, I want to change it. So I'm going to go to file and save as. Now this will bring up the save as dialog. I'm going to keep it as a Photoshop PSD, but this time, I'm going to call it something different, like Jane Smith 2008. Click Save. And that should do it for this video. Tune in to the next one, and we'll go even further.